want to do a just quick walk around tonight. Um, some people have expressed interest in uh, exactly what I'm running here. This is a Case 125 um, tractor. I'm running a Metal Plus blade. This one has a live edge on the bottom on the wings. So it gives me 11 feet when it's all opened up. See the live edge here really works neat. It it actually will tip back this way if you catch something when it's extended or it goes up and down um, to follow the contour. It's really nice for doing like if you have a sidewalk that's uh, close to your your uh, drive, you can actually put your live edge up on the sidewalk sometimes if it's not too high. And then I'm running the pre-bossed eight foot blower back here in the back. A lot of places um, I have to uh, blow snow. Hey. dark in here but I do have a jump seat here heater controls cigarette lighter all right I just gotta go over quickly um, the shifting pattern so here I have low and high range so this um, goes from one to um, nine. Over on this here, we have a, light's not really good here, but we have a high and low. And in the front of it, I have another button. So if I push on this button here, you'll see here this goes to two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and it won't go no further. It'll only go to nine. Then I have to shift this into high range. Okay. I do have a clutch pedal. So I need to use the clutch pedal to go from low range to high range. So then I'm in ninth gear. And so then I go back and I toggle again, nine, 10, 11, 12. And then it'll beep if I try to do it again. Oh, it does go right up 13. Uh, it'll beep there, so it won't go into 14th gear. It'll only go to 13th gear. And then in the front of the shifter over here, there's another button right here. And so when I push this button in combination with the up button, then that'll let me go to, well, it usually does. Maybe I won't do it with the parking brake on. 11, 12, 13. Huh. That's interesting. It won't do it unless I'm uh, actually driving. But then it'll go, um, once I'm driving, I push this button here and keep on toggling right up to 16. And of course, I've never tried to go in 16th gear when I'm uh, parked before. Up here we have the PTO, so I turn my PTO on uh, for my blower, and then these are my remotes for my blower to swing my chute um, around and then my uh, up and down on my chute and my deflector. And then um, also if you was gonna run different remotes, you can actually move this to another setting and then that gives you uh, different um, remotes on there. Then over here I have um, you can see there's an A here, so that's like a automatic all-wheel drive. I always plow in two-wheel drive unless it's spinning. Um, it's easier to articulate around the corners and stuff. Um, I'm not trying to be any hero, so I just go in two-wheel drive. It's easier on the equipment, but um, if you need to push, then you can push um, automatic 
and then uh, you can actually lock your other diff up too um, you can see how you don't really shouldn't put that on unless you really need it sometimes i do need it um pushing something really heavy try to just use it when it's straight and then if you was actually in a straight row and maybe stuck or something if you actually go to this position that locks everything right up and you can't steer when you're down there so you don't go down there very often there and that is about it over here now when I'm uh, traveling I can lock this on so I usually plow in 12th gear so if I go to 12th gear and then I push this and that will keep me in 12th gear it'll it won't shift back to ninth gear or whatever um, all right let's move on here um, to the blade so this lever here this lifts my blade up so when I pull back my blade goes up and then in the front over here on this side okay so on the on the top of it I have two buttons one on one on the right side one on the left side so when I pull my um, the button on the right side this operates the wing on the right side okay and so when I push the button on the other side okay when I'm, I'm going to the this side here and that uses the one on the other side yeah, it's pretty cool I really really enjoy this tractor and uh, yeah, we're in 12th gear there so let's just give you a quick overview so yeah, I can open my wings up I'm only plowing here there's about two and a half inches of snow. Ordinarily I'd be against the curve, I'm just showing you how it's doing here. So. Right. Now when you go into a bank, anybody not experienced on this, you don't want to push on that. You could actually do some damage to your hydraulic cylinder. So um, before you're going into a bank, pull your wings in. All right. And then you can shove it up a little bit and this is not a bucket no. also something to keep in mind this is actually a blade um, doesn't lift very high not made you can pile quite high by pushing it up that, that pile there I've actually blowed it up but uh, it's it's not made to uh, actually not made to pile snow so keep that in mind uh, trying to want to buy one of these two um, piles no that won't work it's only for pushing it's a pusher let me see what else can we go over here um, oh, let's go let's talk about the, the the hydraulics here on the blower for a minute so this button here right here this is to lower it so I don't have very good lighting but I have a toggle switch here so if I push that down on oh my you can see my lower my my blower is lowering and um, this button right here there's a slide here this actually adjusts the speed of it all right so now you can see it's gonna go down faster so this is to adjust the speed okay. then over here on this one here um, so if I drop my blower all the way down and then let's say I'm backing up against a curb and I want to lift it over the curb a little bit um, I can actually set my height on this one here so if I turn this just a little bit and see it'll just brings it up six inches so I can adjust my height of my implement um, on the back with this here and then I have some more settings um, really I guess need to go under here but um, if I lift my uh, lighting is very bad but I can set my speed um, I can set my 
different things I can set on here on the on the um, jaw arm on the back. I can set the if I need one side a little bit higher and the other, etc. Anyway, that's about it for that. Head uh, forward and reverse, forward and reverse, single light. Um, I have my wipers over here, so this is my front wipers then I can actually push it um, I can turn this on for my back wipers push in on it for the for the washer and uh, the back one back washer you lift up on it and it's kind of a weird setup I can never figure that out Anyways, other than that, heat ducts everywhere. Um, if you're first time in a tractor, one thing to keep in mind, keep these ones off, right? And then keep your, open your side ones up. You have a defroster up here and those on the side and that'll keep your windows um, defrosted um, pretty good. That's about it. We do have in the back, um, if it's a warm day, you can actually open this window up. Set it open a little bit. Gives you a little bit of fresh air in here. Other than that, that's a pretty much an overview of this Case 125 Maximum tractor. Very nice tractor. I love to operate them. I guess I could show you my my beacon light I have up here, and I have my back work lights. I have my front work lights. Um, I have some auxiliary lights on this one. This is a battery shut off. So whenever I shut my, when I'm done my shift, uh, everything is cooled down, I shut, turn my battery shut off on. That shuts all the batteries off and then you gotta push the green one to start it again. A little relay on that. If you wanna hook up a radio, yeah, there's a mechanism there for the radio. It's got a stereo system in it, Bluetooth, sunroof. Um, it doesn't open, it's just, I guess if you're piling, if you have a, uh, if you do have a bucket on the front of it and you're piling, you can actually maybe see um, this closes up. I usually keep that closed actually and just let it open under the light here to help with the video in a little bit. That is about it. Thank you for watching, coming along with me. I'll try to maybe post another video later on tonight but thanks for coming along with the ride with me tonight on this case 125 it is sunday night about two o'clock in the morning and uh, we're going to go plow some snow so thanks for coming along for this video tour